what is up guys Zan from the Zan Madden YouTube channel today's video I'm going to be bringing you a new blitz scheme that you guys can utilize out of the nickel triple yes the nickel triple is back in Madden 24 they tried to patch it earlier in the year there was that a gap meta that had the 3-4 odd the 3-3-5 wide and the nickel triple kind of nerfed a lot of players went away from this defense but it is back with a vengeance in a big way a few patches later because now the left a gap is very tender and this is going to be a blitz that will allow you to get clean B gap pressure. And if your opponent tries to block this blitz, we're going to get a defensive tackle A gap. I'm telling you, this is a phenomenal defense. This is something that I could put over on my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg, but I believe I already have the absolute best defense in Madden 24 over there on the website. No, it is not the 4-3, even 6-1. No, it is not the dollar. No, it is not the nickel 3-3. I have a different setup that you guys are not seeing out there right now. It is arguably the best defense in the game go check it out it's in the december vault and it's better than this but this is really really damn good so let's go ahead and get into how to run this first and foremost the playbooks the ravens the steelers those are your playbooks we're going to be going with our coach settings with this particular defense we're going to go man align on auto flip off because we want to run this specifically with the middle linebacker that is off the ball being on the left side of the screen you don't want to run this in a way where if you have it flipped you see the middle linebacker is on the right side you want to run this the other direction so basically if you guys need a visual cue to know if you're calling it correctly the nickel corner when you call your plays needs to be on the left of the play art now the purpose of the man align is to make sure the nickel corner aligns to the passing strength meaning that if there is trips to the right the nickel corner will go over there which is going to give you guys a lot of flexibility let me show you what I mean. You're going to see that the nickel corner, instead of being on the left, because of the man line feature, goes all the way to the right. Now, he is in a cross zone. This is a minor nuisance. You guys will probably want to go ahead and replace the vert hook, which is actually convenient because we're going to be lurking on the line of scrimmage linebacker, which is Ray Lewis. Now, for our setup for this blitz, this is a very, very simple setup. We're going to crash our defensive line to the right, and we're going to blitz that linebacker that is on the left. It should look like this. He's going to loop around the defensive tackle and come in through the B gap. Now, the cool thing about this as well is that the defensive tackle should get a disengage angle. And if your opponent sends five players out, you're going to be able to get pretty good pressure. Now, as far as for your user, you guys can kind of stand where you want. Some of you may wish to stand directly over the guard. Some of you may want to stand in the B gap. Some of you are going to want to stand over here. Kind of find what works for you, depending on your roster and who you have on these particular assignments. You may want to stand in a different spot than I am in this video. But in general, the right side is where you want to lurk. Ball snaps. You're going to see that we're going to get that loop around the left guard. And you're going to see that you get the disengage off the defensive tackle. Now, it wasn't super clean. This is why I'm saying you're going to want to tweak where you stand. So I may decide that I want to kind of stand near the center. If you want to stand up here, you see that it kind of gives us that disengage D tackle a gap kind of works really clean right there. The next down, you may wish to go ahead and kind of stand a little bit closer to the tackle, kind of draw the attention. You see that we get that disengage as well. You also saw that the left side or I'm sorry, the right side came in free on this. But the theme with this is that when you run this particular blitz concept, this little twist of the defensive tackle and the looping linebacker causes the defensive tackle to come unblocked and we're going to be able to get him in through the a gap pretty easily now the other thing that's cool with this is you see here on the right side we're going to be able to get this one-on-one -on -one. you guys should be able to either contain because this is a interior pressure you want to flush your quarterback out of the pocket if you guys want to contain with this be my guest it would look kind of something like this and again with this you're going to see that we're having that looping we're going to get that kind of uh, B gap pressure or they're going to let the defensive tackle come in through the A gap. So this is really, really nice. Now, when it comes to picking up this blitz, if they block the running back, you're going to see that with this setup, if we kind of hang out here and just kind of lurk on Ray Lewis, that it does get the B gap and it still comes in free. It can be really, really good. Now, if you guys want to take this to another level, you guys can actually global blitz everybody, crash your defensive line to the right and lurk on the slot corner. When this occurs, he's going to let Ray Lewis come in free and you're still going to get the B gap or disengage A gap every single time. This particular blitz is really, really good. Um, basically, right now, the meta is kind of to blitz in the left A gap, B gap area. This is obviously a B gap. If you guys were to just blitz Allen straight into this particular uh, A gap, you will notice that it can come in right down the pipe, similar to the A gap meta out of dollar. And it's going to be really, really effective for you. Now, 
we kind of understand how this pressure works. Let's go ahead and talk about coverage. But before we talk about the coverage, do me a favor, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, hit that notification bell and drop a comment below to push this video out in the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys like this content, you're sure to love my content over on my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg. I talk about it all the time in every video, so I'm not gonna waste too much of your time, but Gridiron Game Plans is the best place to go to improve at the game. Stay on top of the meta with our vault tips, which is what the pros are running and how to counter it. And take a look at the game plans over there. You guys can find nine offensive and defensive game plans just 995. So one of the downsides to this particular formation is obviously the cross zone. So what we're going to do here with this is we're actually going to activate a package. Um, you guys will want to go ahead and sub your players in, in your front seven, front six, wherever you want with this, but we're going to activate a package such as maybe the free safety inside package. So free safety nickel. And again, we're running this with auto flip off mana line on. Let's kind of talk about uh, something that you might go ahead and do. One of the first things that you may like is basically a weird cover three rotation looks something like this with this particular defense you're going to have this slot corner dropping out into the outside third i like this troy polamalu item we talked about him earlier in the week with his knockout reinforcement ability with this as well you guys can still run your a gap blitz and with this obviously i would probably go ahead and cover kind of the short right middle and also the left seam if you guys want to, you guys can also show blitz. This walks down the safety. I don't necessarily recommend this, but this could give you the ability to kind of uh, mix up who's dropping to the middle and who's dropping to the outside. You see right here, I could drop, uh, you know, either player to the middle and either player to the outside. This is something that is available to you. Now, of course, as well, you guys have the ability to cross zone. Um, so if you guys wanted to, you could put left bumper and a left third. Um, as funky as something like this may look, Bland is going to be really good against Jerry Rice on a streak, but not so good on a crossing route. Whereas the cross third will do a good job of kind of muddying up the middle of the field and stay with the crossing route just a little bit. All the while, if your opponent does decide to send five guys out on a route, we're still getting our B gap pressure or our looping pressure. You saw right there, it kind of gave us an A gap look. Again, kind of focus on where to stand on this. Uh, again, with this, you may notice better success when you don't show blitz. So you may not get too darn complicated with it totally up to you again whatever it is that you feel comfortable with uh again your setup is to crash to the right and blitz that guy off the left b gap again ball snapped you're gonna see that that is gonna loop in you guys can kind of cover got yourself a little bit of a knockout meta you saw right there we force a fumble we're able to get to the quarterback pretty easily and of course with this as well you guys can always mix in the slot blitz so let's say that you guys wanted to run a cover two with this and let's go ahead and put uh, a deep half to the left and a deep half to the right. We can send that slot corner, Polamalu, kind of muddy things up. If you guys want to, you could go ahead and press, you know, over the X receiver in the event that you have a misalignment. If they want to block this, uh, you know, block this running back to try to pick this up, you're obviously going to see that we're getting A gap, B gap loop pressure. So, you know, really exotic blitz front. This is something that you guys can kind of mimic the A gap blitz meta, that left side being a really, really a meta blitzing area for most defenses, that left A gap, B gap area. Nickel Triple does this just fine. Really, really good defense. At the end of the day, if you guys are ever worried about them blocking this, you can always go ahead and lurk on the slot corner and just global blitz everybody. When this happens again, you're going to get that A gap and they're going to block the linebacker that's coming in through the right a gap as well so you know they have no way to pick this up this is a blitz scheme that honestly should have probably gone on gridiron but you guys have been so so helpful in this channel growing this year i really appreciate it it's christmas season want to give this to you guys if you guys liked it make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys later with our next video upload until then this is Anne. get in the lab and good luck